Welcome to Using Your Graphing Calculator in Math 140. I'm Fred Feldon. Thanks for watching. In this video, we'll learn how to use the graphing calculator to find an equation called the curve of best fit, or a mathematical model, from a given set of data. The technique is called regression analysis. Here's the steps, and I'll walk you through them. Enter the data into your calculator using lists L1 and L2 for the input and output. Then find a good viewing window. Turn plot 1 on and look at the scatter plot. If it fits a pattern, you can use regression to find an equation of best fit. Then take a look at the graph of the equation along with the scatter plot to help you visualize everything. Okay, let's get started. The Office of Health Affairs collected this data recently on health care spending in the United States. Let's work with it. We'll enter the data, display the scatter plot, and see if it fits a pattern or fits a model. The calculator will work best if we let x equals zero represent the year 1970. That's the input. Then the output would be the amount in dollars spent on health care. Per capita means per person. Okay open the calculator. We're at the home screen. You can see the blinking cursor in the upper left hand corner. Hit STAT and choose number one, edit. This is where you enter and edit a table of data as lists. If data is already there, you can clear it by hitting the up arrow, clear, down arrow, and then move over to the other column and do the same thing. There. Now we're starting fresh. Enter your data starting with zero in the L1 column which represents the year 1970 and then the year 1980, ten years later, and so on. Then enter the outputs in column L2. Oops. Got to be careful. One mistake and you're in big trouble. There we go. To display the scatter plot, we have to tell the calculator to use this data rather than the usual equation, so we need to turn plot 1 on. The quickest and easiest way to do this is to hit F1, Y equals, up arrow, see the black rectangle around plot 1, hit enter, and then down arrow, and we did it. The calculator will now grab the data in list L1 and L2. Be careful because when you go back to regular graphing, you must turn plot 1 off. Do it the same way. Hit up arrow, enter, down arrow, and now it's off. Okay, so let's turn it back on. By the way, if you need to make further adjustments to the stat plot settings, can you see the command above F1? Hit second. F1 stat plot. You'll see a summary of the stat plot settings. Choose your plot number, or in my case here I'll just hit enter to adjust plot 1. And you can see here's another way to turn it on or off to choose what type of graph you want to display. In this case it's set to display a scatter plot. Then select the input and output and what type of mark. Alright, now let's set the viewing window. So I'll hit F2. 
If you'll recall, the numbers in the input column L1 go from 0 to 32. So let's make the x min x5, negative uh, uh, 5, just to give us a little room on the left. And then let's go up to, say, 35 with a tick mark every 5 units. Now, based on the range of numbers in the L2 list, let's make the y min 0 and the y max 6,000 with a tick mark every 1,000 units. Okay, your window may vary. Now hit F5 graph and you'll see it. Ta-da! There's the scatter plot. So what we're looking for now is if you see a pattern. Do the dots lie in a line? Well, close. The pattern seems to curve up a little, so it could be exponential. Well, it could be quadratic, too, couldn't it? It could perhaps be the right-hand side of a parabola. So let's do that. Let's try the quadratic model, and then maybe try other models, compare the results, and discuss which model might fit the data best, and which model might fit the real world best. You see, mathematics isn't perfect. You have to consider the application, what makes sense, and what doesn't. All right, to find a regression equation, we'll go back to the stat menu. Right arrow to stat calc. And here's a list of all the models to choose from. Depending on the shape and pattern of your scatter plot, we decided to start with a quadratic model, so I'll choose number 5. At this point, you could just hit enter and get the equation, but let me give you a very cool tip. I want to add something else to the command. Hit the VARS key, which stands for variables, right arrow to the Y variables, and choose number 1 function. Now choose number 1, Y1. There. This command now tells the calculator to use the data in L1 and L2, perform a quadratic regression analysis, and paste the equation from the model automatically into the calculator as Y1. This saves a lot of typing. Watch. Hit enter. There's our equation. Now if your calculator doesn't show the R squared, don't worry. It just tells how good a fit the equation is, but it's not a big deal for this class. In this class, we'll just look at the viewing window to see how good our equation is. Now hit F1, Y equals. Bingo! There's the same equation, automatically pasted into the calculator for Y1. That's what I'm talking about. It's a huge time saver. You don't have to do all this typing again, and it prevents a lot of errors. So would you like to see the graph of the model? Our window's already set, so I'll hit F5 graph, and when I do, you'll see the graph of our equation right on top of the scatter plot. Here it is. Pretty cool, huh? Now, as I mentioned earlier, other models might fit the data. I opened up the window a little bit, and here you can see some other models. Here's a linear and exponential model along with our quadratic. Which one is best? Well, a model might break down or might not apply to the real world, so you've got a tough choice to make. If the question tells you, then f of course follow the directions. But maybe the choice is up to you. Then you need to defend your answer and explain why you picked it. Okay? That's it. Thanks for watching. Let me know if you have any questions.